Hello everyone, today we got another gameplay breakdown. In this game, I have to play from behind and struggle to get a top 4. I have also made a Discord server, more info on how to join that at the end of the video. Enjoy. So here I am weak. I only have Cossack's 2 star, so I play him plus the pirates so that I can make some money and hopefully kill one or two units. I'm scouting to see where I should position my Cossacks. I want him to jump where most of the enemy carries are. Darius and Graves are on the back row so that the enemies can walk forward. This makes it more likely for Cossacks to get the isolation kill. Also I don't make any items as there are no good items I can make. I would like to make a red buff in the future, but I need another blaster first. After scouting, I thought everybody was so strong that my Darius wouldn't get any resets off. Therefore, I played Kronos over Pirates. Looking back at the gameplay now, it was probably a mistake. It didn't really make me any stronger. I would much rather have played the Pirates instead and had the potential to get gold. Here I'm thinking I definitely want to make 10 gold. And I realized my mistake from last turn and put the Pirates back in. At this point, I am mainly hoping to find a Lucian so I can make red buff, as this is the only good item I can make as of right now. At the carousel, I wanted to take Glove, as it is a very good and flexible item component. It makes a ton of great items. On 2-5, I always buy Graves 2-star, and since Cossacks is my main carry, I put Kaisa in to support him. I don't level here, as anything I put in won't help me. I am still weak, so I should focus on my economy. I scout again to position my infiltrators better. So here I find Illusion, and I can finally make a red buff and get some strength into my team. I always make 30 gold here as well, so I'm fine selling off a Leona as I get gold from the pirates. I was unsure of whether or not I could beat the Krugs, so I got a bit nervous and I leveled last second to play Shen. It's not that big of a deal, as I would have leveled next turn anyways. I end up getting dropped a bunch of gold, so I want to make 40 here. I make Thieves Gloves here, as they give me a lot of strength. My board is still weak, so I want to get stronger, so I don't bleed out during the mid-game. I was a bit unsure of which was better out of Cassidy and Darius and Cossacks. And even looking at the gameplay now, I'm still unsure, but I think not playing Cossacks is correct. I always buy Jay's 2 star, as he probably stays in my comp until the end game, regardless of which comp I'm playing. I also level to 6 as I stay above 30 gold, and I want to get stronger here. I end up putting Rakan in for Celestial buff. I could consider selling everything except the Shen pair if I win, but with my current board strength, it is a bit too greedy. I buy Lucian every time here, as I want him 2 star. I take out Rakan and Darius as they're not doing too much for my team right now. Putting in Blitz and Shen for a chrono buff is much higher value. Looking back at the gameplay now, playing Malphite over Kassadin is probably better as I get more frontline with the board. The way this board wins is by letting red buff do as much work as possible, therefore putting in units that allow Lucian to stay alive as long as possible. I take Glove from the carousel to make Last Whisperer, a good item for both Jinx and Irelia. So far, my direction is telling me to go either Jinx or Irelia carry. I level here and play Kale. Looking back at it, it was definitely a mistake. I think it would be much better to just save the gold and roll down after Wolves instead. My thought process at the time was that I could fit Blademaster by leveling, but it would be a lot better to just play Kale over Castadon instead of leveling. Also here, I should have sold left side plus Lucian for Eco. I will note that leveling here is not bad if you win the next two rounds, but my board was not strong enough to win the next two. So here I always buy Jinx and replace Lucian with her. She is just a better unit than Lucian in general. I also want to sell units here to stay above 30 gold. When I scouted I saw that positioning on the right side was better against everybody except two people. It was really bad into the mech player, as the Kaisa will delete my carries. If I positioned on the other side, I would have won the round most likely. 
So at the Wolf's Round, here I always buy Wukong and replace Blitzcrank with him, as he gives Vanguard and is just overall a better unit. I also want to make 40 gold here. Here I always make GA as there are 3 Infiltrator players in the lobby. It allows me to protect my carry less and get better positioning that way. From this spot it's a bit hard to play Kale as I don't really have any good items for her. So this will most likely be a Jinx carry game. Here I swap out Kale to put in Celestials, mostly so I could make Last Whisper on Jinx. I decided that I could not run Kale this game. This turn is important, it's where I level to 8 and all in. From here, I want to upgrade my frontline as well as finding Jinx 2 star. I'm buying good units to give myself as many options as possible. Also putting together the strongest board as possible. Only mistake here was to not play Thresh over Shen as I get Mana Reaver in and Shen is only 1 star. At the carousel, here I want a defensive item as well as more gold, therefore Seraph is the ideal unit to take. On 4 or 5 I keep rolling as I'm still low on HP and I need to start winning rounds. I also still have mostly 1 stars on my board. Therefore, I have to keep rolling for upgrades. On stage 4-6, I save the gold so I can make interest and roll after the raptor rounds. So here I roll down for Lulu 2, Soraka 2, Kassadin 2, Wukong 2, Thresh 2, and also to find an MF. I never go level 9 from this spot as I'm missing way too many 2 stars and I'm also way too low on health and money to do so. I make a locket as I need more defensive items for my team. So for the rest of stage 5, the only thing I'm doing is I just keep donkey rolling every turn as I do not want to go 8th place and I'm missing way too many 2 stars for me to be able to save money and eco. I need to keep rolling just to get the upgrades right now so I can get stronger right now. Also for the rest of stage 5, I am just scouting and positioning. So I'm just going to show you all the other enemy boards and how to position optimally against them with the comp I currently have. Against the first guy, his big threats are Seraph, Velkos, and Syndra. My comp has no backline axes, so I need to break in through the frontline. I want my Jinx to deal with the Leona first. This is because she has Ionic Spark, which I want to take out first so my team gets value from the Mystic buff. Additionally, Leona has no GA, so when Jinx kills her, she gets one reset off her ability right away. His Lux is on the left side. Therefore I want my Lulu on the far right side to tank her ult and not to let Jinx or MF get stunned. I want Cassidy in the middle so that his ult will disarm Leona, Jace and Ari. But most importantly, I want Cassidy to pop the trap claw on Jace so that Jinx or MF does not get stunned by it. Against the second guy, his big threats are Lucian and the infiltrators on the right side. I position like this so the infiltrators will attack my backline. I have Jace and the Mystic's Thirst to help deal with them. My Jinx will target either Irelia or Leona first. This allows her to get an easy reset off, and after that, she will help deal with the infiltrators. Against the third guy, his big threats are Zaya and Jarvan. The reason Jarvan is a big threat is because his ult will give Zaya and the rest of its team around 150% more attack speed, which lets Zaya go into her crazy shredder mode. Therefore, we want to Mana Reaver the Jarvan, so we put Kassadin next to him. We put Jinx all the way left side so that she will target the enemy Kassadin first. Therefore, she gets an easy reset off. We want MF in the left corner so that her ult will target the entire enemy team. We want Lulu closer to Saya as her ult polymorphs the two closest targets. So if we get lucky, she will polymorph the Saya. 
Against the fourth guy, his big threat is Kale, and Irelia is a bit scary, but since she doesn't have Last Whisperer, she will struggle to get through my vanguards. His Blitzcrank is positioned more to the left, so I want to put my Lulu on the right side as she is the ideal unit to get sacrificed. I position my MF so that she ults Kale. I also position my Jinx so that she targets Cassidy and after goes to Wukong. This way she gets her resets off as fast as possible. Against the 5th guy, I can't break through the poppy until Jinx goes into a rocket mode. Therefore I position my Jinx so that she targets Wukong first and then moves over to take out Syndra. I position my MF so that she ults Poppy, Zoe, TF and Ari. I want my Lulu closer to Poppy so that she polymorphs her. I keep my Soraka in the right corner as I want to keep her full health. Zoe's ult targets the highest max percentage health and I don't want Zoe to ult either Jinx or MF. Against the 6th guy, his biggest threat is Kai'Sa. This is because she has demos bad. I want my Jinx to stay safe from the infiltrators, therefore I put her second row. If the other mech player decides to spawn the mech all the way right side, it will always target Kassadin. This way Jinx doesn't get hit by the cleave from the mech and she stays safe. If the infiltrators jump right side, Jace and Lulu will stall them. And if the infiltrators jump left side, Jinx is safe from them so that is good for us. Against the 7th guy, his only threat is Belkos. Kha'Zix can also be dangerous if he gets a unit in isolation, but when he is only 2 star and has no items, he's not that scary. Since his frontline is moved all the way back, Jinx will target the Kha'Zix before the frontline, therefore getting an easy reset off. Kha'Zix is positioned so that his ult can pop the trap claw off on Belkos, and we want that popped so that Jinx or MF does not get stunned by it. So in stage 5-6, here I know I'm not dead next turn, so I just save gold and roll down after Kane on 6-1. On 6-1, I'm rolling down to hit my 2 stars. I can't go level 9 this game as I'm too poor and I'm too weak. The lobby is also insanely close so I just want to get as strong as possible right now. I keep two blitzcranks on my- <laughs> 